Yeah, I'm not trying to be weird or anything, okay? I'm just lifting up this sleeping bag right now. Carry on. <laughs> I don't know what the f he's doing over there, but hey, I am checking in with you from 14,500 feet at our base camp. Oh my god, he's pissing in a bottle. <laughs> Do you fart when you pee? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I'm not sorry about peeing. That's f***ing gross. I hope that that stays in your sleeping bag so bad. I hope you just hotbox yourself. <laughs> just dutched oven yourself with pee fumes and a f***ing poop. Everybody, that's my disgusting roommate. <laughs> I get the pleasure of living with Steve-O for the next two weeks. He just shit in a bottle in his sleeping bag. But the only thing that makes up for it is our other roommate is this freaking baby, sweetest girl in the world, Wendy. Yeah, we're just living our life here at base camp. It's. I'm so sorry, dude. My eyes are like burning from it. <laughs> Don't get out of your sleeping bag. What are you doing? I wasn't in it. Put it over yourself. I'm just gonna open it to air it out here. Oh my god, I'm mortified with myself. I made a strict rule that once we were in for the night, we couldn't open the tent doors because it's so cold outside. And I am completely taking back that rule. Yeah, that's like a car fart, dude. That was so bad. That wasn't a car fart. That was like a carbonara fart. That was so gross. <laughs> so this has been really fun trying to vlog while Steve was quickly turning our tent into a porter potty. All right, what's up? This is Gus from the outhouse. <laughs> There's less oxygen in the air. And now there's less oxygen in Steve-O's body because it just left his sphincter. <laughs> that was not oxygen, no. That was straight methane. That was straight up methane. <laughs> Alright, well it almost smells better in here, or I'm just used to it, which is e even scarier. <laughs> to go back, what's up? We're at 14,500 feet. Everyone's set up in their tents. We're in like this little, basically, village at the bottom of a beautiful 20,000 foot mountain, Toklarahu. And um, I'm stoked. I mean, I was joking about it with my real estate bit, but like there actually is an amazing amount of diversity within this crew that we've got here. I think right. that you're gonna see all of us kind of like crumble at moments and then have to like rise from the ashes. And I think that that's gonna be badass. Knowing you for a week. I became an instant fan of yours before I knew you were even gay. You're fucking smarter, funnier, more talented, way radder, younger, better looking, like, um, Fucking awesome, dude. That's so sweet, thank you. Well, that's also <coughs> ridiculous, because all of those are debatable, except for the fact that I am definitely younger and also better looking. Um, <laughs> and an Olympic fucking medalist. And way more humble. Um, <laughs> I have to say the same thing, I am so stoked on Steve-O. I grew up watching Jackass and doing that exact same stuff, like riding my bike off, jumps off of docks, like going down the hill in shopping carts, and I feel like so much of it made me the person that I am, and made me the skier that I am, I mean, I don't and know, dude. no, you it's have... true, honestly, it instilled like a fearlessness in me that I think helped me so much, and so, I'm stoked to be sharing a tent with you, but mostly I'm stoked to be sharing a tent with you, babe, don't listen. That's, yeah, no shit, huh? It's the ideal tent, if I could just stop blowing it up. Alright, sorry, peace you out. <laughs>